Okay, good. How are you doing, people? Good. How was that weekend? Hello, Dayanara. Hello, everyone. How are you today? A little bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Monday. It's Monday. Monday. Ah, but tomorrow will be better. Okay, keep keep that in mind. Okay. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Now Monday is the, the the worst day, right? Because we are trying to to recover from the weekend. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Anna. How are you? Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay, that's good. That sounds great. Good it's Monday. Good evening. Yes, yeah, Monday. Um, hey, hello. Good evening, Maria. Okay. Okay. Let me um in this one, it's here. Okay, good. Then uh, let me see, we have conditionals, right? Remember we have Time phrases. Okay, and this was say by the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with the with the if clause, right? The if clause. Remember, we said last. Uh, uh, that we were talking about conditional sentences. Okay, they have um they close. Okay, um, let me see how should we represent and then we have the result. Result close. This one is writing what you want, not what I want. Okay, so in the if close, we have zero condition. There are different types of conditionals. Okay, one of them is the zero. Then we have the first. Conditional. Then we have the third for the second, third, uh, and then we have the mixed conditional. Okay, up to there are like five types of conditional sentences. And then the condition. Okay. 
for example, in this one, if you see if I if I I go uh if I go to Mexico I fly. I take a plane better. I don't want to sound like Superman. Okay, I take a plane. And then I take a plane. If, if I go to Mexico. So you can swap, you can switch. If I go second, or if I go first, okay, let me color it so that you can see the difference. I'm gonna use here the red color. Okay, and I take a plane. Okay, so you can swap. The difference is the comma, right? That if I use if in the second part, then I do not use the comma. Okay, and if I use first, if I go to Mexico, comma, I take a plane. I take a plane if I go to Mexico. Then that is one. Then uh, in the one is if, let's say uh, if, uh, if, no, I wanna change that. If Tony, If Tony wins the match, okay, the match, comma, his mom, now we're gonna use his family, will be happy. Okay. This is the first condition. And two. You see, the, we are using conditionals, but at the same time, a, I am using different moments. Okay. Then I can just hear his family. They okay, will be happy if Okay, now I have to change a little bit here. Do one also. You can use Tony. You can use Tony's. Okay, or you can use kids. Okay, his family will be happy if Tony wins. If he wins. their match. Okay, what is the difference that you see, people? In the zero conditional and the first conditional. Teacher, yes. in conditional, uh, if is first and zero conditional is 
next to the first sentence, maybe. Mm, in the two is the same. In the two is the same because here, if it's first and then second. Here but, it is first but, and it is going second. There's but, no comma in the second, the second form. What? What did you say, Marie? Uh, there is no comma in the second form. Oh, yeah. But that is it. No, but I yeah. mean, okay, if you, teacher, I mean, teacher, yes. I think so. I think so. Uh, uh, how do you. Tiene que ver con auxiliary will. Ajá, what? You use, uh, in the zero condition, you don't use the auxiliary will. But when you, uh, uh, in the first condition, you use. And what happened in the zero? What happened? Uh huh. Don't use the condition, the auxiliary will. But, uh -huh, but what, what, what am I using in the two sentences? Yeah, I, you got an idea more or less, yes. Okay. Teacher, uh, I talking uh -huh. about in the first one, if is first in the, oh, sorry. Uh huh. And the second one is next to teacher. the first sentence. Maybe. No, no but in this no, one, teacher. Too, teacher. In, in this I, one too. In maybe. One, yeah, yeah. Well, just give me a second. Uh, in this one, uh, Luis Miguel, it's the same. First, and this one is if. Ah. Uh, it's the well. same. Okay. In the in the conditional sentence, you always you can switch. No problem. Okay, if you say, okay. if I go to Mexico, I take a plane, or I take a plane, if I go to Mexico, it's, ex it's actually the same meaning, but a little bit different in the structure, yes? Okay. Okay, good. Uh -huh, no, sorry. I think so, the, the, the different, it could be, uh, it's more specific, because uh, uh, Put the 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 uh the place or that you about talk. You understand? <laughs> uh, no. I, I mean yes, you're right, but uh exactly exactly. Okay, look at this. I see in the second form. The conditional is for another for another person. Uh, uh, it's not only Tony. Uh, uh, is uh, in the in the in the zero okay. conditional. Uh, if I go to Mexico, I take a plane. Only uh, it's only talk about me. But in the first conditional. Including other people. Um, it could teacher. be a thing. It could teacher. be a thing. Yeah, give me a second. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, uh, uh, I just make clear with my, uh, for example, Maria, if you say, if Tony wins the match, he will be happy. You can say for the same person too. I just hear his family because, you know, uh, there will be somebody else happy. But you can say, if Tony wins the match, uh, he will be happy. So in this conditionals, you can use anything. But look what I have marked in yellow. Yes, Kenya? Sure. I, I think, uh, okay. <laughs> you you use the <laughs> infinity, the bar infinity, and no. another, no? No. No, it's mm -hmm. not infinity. Yes, can Kenya. Can you come. hear me? Yes, Kenya, okay. go ahead. I think in the first conditional, you you don't have certainty. It's a possible in the future. It could be, but I don't know. And the zero conditional, you have how do you say certeza or seguridad? Certainty. Certainty. 
-hmm. Maybe it's that, but I don't know. Okay, good. That's okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, you're close in two things. Okay, first that you, you say that we are using will, but now you say that we are using infinitive, but it's not infinitive. Remember the infinitive is to go. This is infinitive, to go. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> After so I, 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 I... No, no, but it's okay. It's, you have an idea. Present, the sentence here is present. Simple. Yes or no? Pay attention to this. Yeah. Present. Uh, so present. Present. And here, you also have present. Okay. Uh, Maria, I think your microphone is has some interference. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we have present. You see, in the two sentences, I use present tense. Yes. If I go to Mexico, I take a plane. If I am hungry, think about you. If I am hungry, what is the result? The condition, if I am hungry. The result? I, I eat. Exactly. I exactly. I, I ate if, I am hung, if I am hungry, I eat. I eat something. Okay. If um, think about this one. If I am tired, I'm in rest. <laughs> I rest. Okay. I'm rest. I take a nap. I take a nap. I sleep. Mm -hmm. I go to bed. I try to relax. Okay. Present, present in the two sentences. Okay. So like this one. If I go to Mexico, I take a plane. If I go to Mexico, I drive. Okay. So then it's maybe two days. Okay. And in the other one, I use. Now you can tell me. Future. The first one? Absolutely will. Future. In the, in the first one? In the first one, it's present. Okay. Present. Okay, in the if close, in the if close, okay, present. If close, present. And in the result close, I use? Future. Future. Okay. In the if close, present. And then in the future close, I use future. So that is the zero and first conditional okay for example um if uh if you if you complete the exercises in the platform on the platform okay you will pass the course if you miss classes you will not pass this course, okay? If you get, uh, what, what is the minimum, what is the minimum grade to pass? Six or seven? Eight. Eight, okay. If you get eight in your, um, in uh, your final grade, you will pass to the next level, okay? So the condition is, if, if you get, an eight. The result, you will pass to the next level. The condition, if you finish the platform on time, you will complete the course before it finishes. Okay, so you have, you have a if conditional and then you have a result. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the video and then after we're going to come back to this explanation to see if you all have any questions. Now look at this one. 
So this is possible situation is the if, and the consequence is the result. Okay. Now listen. Let me share the my audio first here. And then here we go. I will turn if I camera. study, I will pass my exam. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass. word if so we say okay in this one if you see the they are using the conditional the first or the zero zero conditional or first conditional is first condition yes that's correct what is, there is a mistake in the sentence what is the mistake The comma. It's not, exactly. not a comma. Uh -huh, the comma, right? Always remember here in the video is the com they they forgot the comma, but we always have to use a comma here. When the sentence begins with if by study, comma. I will pass my exam. Okay? Then if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. Time, you might get bored. Okay, what is something uh, extra in, in these sentences when you have, for example, the, if you get a high paying job, you won't. If you don't have work, you will. So something extra that they have here is might and may. 
what is might and what is may. Might is a possibility. And may is a possibility too. The difference may 50% of possibilities, 50-50, yes or no, okay? When you say, for example, if you have a lot more free time, you might get bored, okay? You might get bored is probably you will get bored, but it's, you know, a remote possibility. When you say, if you get bored, you may have to look for another job may have to look is the possibility is higher okay with uh may is a 50 percent okay so this one using might or may is a very personal uh, way to use it because it all depends how you feel the result is going to be okay uh for example the suppose that uh, you talk about probabilities, possibilities of something to happen, okay? Uh, and you can see the sky, the sky is dark, okay? When you look at the sky, the sky is dark, many clouds, and then you say, okay, if the sky is dark, it might rain or it may rain, okay, here. If the sky is dark, then it may, it may or might rain. Okay, how can we determine may or might? Both is a possibility. Both are possibilities. Uh -huh. a possibility. But, but when we uh, see a discussion. May, may is more. It's, uh -huh. more uh, it's higher. Yeah. Exactly. But may, might, might is, a, is a, the less. It's less, correct. But how can we determine when we use it? when we are going to use may or when we are going to use might on it depends on what when i not not sure aha uh -huh, but exactly when are you going to use may which one are you going to use may or might may is a provision aha uh -huh. A what? My 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 was the uh, my, my, much probably. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, May is fifty percent. Yeah. Okay, we are clear on that. No problem. Okay, fifty. Now, and let's see. I don't have percentage here. Yeah, and might twenty five percent. No problem. You're clear. Okay, my question, this is the question. How do you know when it is more proper to use may or might? That is my question. Know which one is more probable. Okay. When it is more uh, probable or more adequate to use may or might? My. But when? The question is, when are you going to use it? And, and why? When, when, when I was, I wasn't more sure. Yeah, but why? Why are you so sure or more sure? Okay, I don't know if you like football. Okay, I don't know if you like football, but suppose in this moment, 
I'm going to use the more the most common because if I use uh, teams from El Salvador, probably you don't like. But uh, we have Real Madrid and then we have Barcelona, right? In this moment, like they say, solo para conocedores, right? So we have uh, in this moment, if only fans, if Real Madrid. Okay, place. Okay, versus uh, Barcelona. Okay. The question: Who will win? Okay, this is my prediction. Real Madrid, no. I'm gonna use, if they play, they play, Comma, Real Madrid. May win. Because in this moment, probably Barcelona is going down for some players. They don't have, they are not complete. They have this and that, right? But in Real Madrid, it's supposed to be a little bit better in this moment, right? So, but this is a possibility, 50-50, okay? But I can also say, okay, okay close your microphones, please, because let me see here, we have Control-C and Control-B. Okay, if they play, And they play um, Barcelona. Might win. Do you see the difference in the two sentences? I am giving. I am giving more chances to Real Madrid, right? Because I say Real Madrid may win. And then, as, but also Barcelona, Barcelona might win. This is my opinion. That's what I told you. This is very, uh, it's relative. Uh, it's muy relativo, right? Because who's from Barcelona here? Luis Miguel, do you like Barcelona? I, I am hyper fans of Barcelona. You are, yes? I am. Okay, so probably in your case, will you give more chances to Barcelona or to Real Madrid? I I think if they play, Barcelona may win. May? May win. Okay, you see? Then if we, if we begin here with Miguel, we're going to, no, no, come on, Miguel. Uh, Barcelona in this moment is, and then we begin, right? I think uh, Madrid may win. You see, then it's your opinion versus my opinion. Your perspective and my perspective, right? So that's why this is not a, it's something that is a, a sometimes difficult to, to determine in a test. But when you use it, and if I say this, look at this. If they play Real Madrid, will win. What is the difference? Is uh, here is certainly. Exactly, right? So here, no 50-50. Now here is? It is zero. 
Uh huh. One hundred percent. Okay. And if you use here also. Okay. Then you are giving here. One hundred percent. And then, and we have the three forms in the first conditional, right? So that you can use Real Madrid will win, Real Madrid may win, Real Madrid might win. So 150, 25. Barcelona will win 100%. Barcelona may win 50%. And Barcelona might win 25%. Okay? So you have present, then you have present, and then you have future. Okay, that here it could be will, may, or might. It depends on your perspective, people. Now, in the question, Here, if the sky is dark, it depends on how dark it is. If it is only dark and the and the clouds are very high, might rain. But when there is, they are very dark and the clouds are low. Okay, it's because they are heavy, full of water and then the wind blows, then you say it may rain, okay? But, you know, when you feel the wind is blowing very, I you know, mean, there, is, there are um, strong winds, then you can say it's, it will rain, right? It will rain. So the same thing here, it depends on the, on the evidence that you have. The evidence marks the the conditional that we are going to use. All right, is that clear now? Let's write some sentences in the chat. For example, using if. If, uh, look at this, if I, Okay, do you like this one? Look in the chat. If I win the lottery, present, I will invite you all to a trip to Cancun. Okay, if I win the lottery, I, uh, let's see, I may stop working. Okay, it's a possibility. Uh, if I win the lottery, I might, might travel around the world. One hundred and ninety three countries. Okay, there you see will, may, and might. If I go to vacations in this holiday, I will be relaxed. Okay, yes, with ED. Mm -hmm. if, I go on, if I go on vacation, 
I go on vacations and these holidays, I will be relaxed. Okay. Good, Ms. Miguel. If I take a cup of coffee, I may still be in class. Okay. May. Only May. Has to be will, Maria. No May. Cup of coffee is to wake up. Okay. Good. What else? You see the, for example, when you have made, it's a possibility. Anna, tell me a sentence. Cesar, Herbert, come on, write a sentence. Write as many as you can, right? Keep on practicing, write more sentences. Use your imagination, practice vocabulary. Uh, okay. Uh, is, I, is, is you, uh, if you have a, if you have a TV, uh, you might watch a, a, a movie. Correct. That's right. Yeah, if you have to be, you might watch a movie. If you have a Netflix, you you may spend some time watching movies. Yes. Yeah. Right. It's Very movie. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Remember that you can also use the negative, right? Conse negative consequences or negative conditions. Okay. If you don't have to work as hard, you will have a lot of free time. Uh, if you don't, for example, if you don't work, if we don't work, if we don't work, okay, we won't have uh, money for our retirement. Okay? If we don't work, we won't have time if we don't work this month we won't have time to buy presents or gifts for our family if i won the lottery i would buy a um, bigger one okay if i won the lot if i okay i got it that is the uh, let me see, this is the second conditional, Rebecca. It's correct, but this is contrary to fact. If I won the lottery, I would buy a bigger house, okay, or a bigger car, okay? So, but that is the next, the next conditional. Okay, good. Another one? If I go to sleep early, my body will be better. Yes, your body will be thankful. You say thank you very much, Anna, for resting. Okay. Yes, if I go to sleep, my body will be better, will feel better. Okay. If you want to speak, you can say also verbally. If you have if I have more time next weekend, I will go, I will go shopping. I will go hiking to El Cerro Verde. I will go hiking to Ila Matepec, or I will go to the beach. If I have more time. So in this kind of uh, sentences or exercises, you can practice uh, more vocabulary, more expressions, more verbs, okay? If you get bored, okay, you may, uh, you may fall asleep. If I wake up at seven, I will arrive late to my work. Yes, Cesar, that's true, okay? Then, What if 
if you don't if you don't have a job okay if you don't have a job you won't have money to pay your bills okay if you don't have a job uh, you will not be able to buy uh, what you need okay if you don't have a job you will have to find one you will have to look for one Oh, by the way, uh, before I forget, they sent me a message for those who are missing with the plat the missing with the platform. I have Amanda Yamilet, Cesar Ivan, Herbert Adan, Juan Carlos, Catherine Joanna, Martin de Jesus. Nuria Sarai, but Nuria Sarai never saw her. Stephanie Yamilet. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you, they told me that you need to complete the platform, right? If you need any help, uh, let me know, okay? So that you can complete it tomorrow. Okay, so that would be better. Uh, if I exercise more often, I will be healthy. That's definitely my idea, right? So you have to go jogging at 4 o'clock a.m. by every morning. Then you will be in good shape. If you eat food health, you will have more health. Okay. If you eat healthy food, and okay, if you eat healthy food, then you will be. Healthy food. Good. You will be more healthy. Mm -hmm. So this one is health is the adjective. The sorry, the noun. And healthy is the adjective. Okay, good. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Okay, let me see now. There is a a second conditional. This is not in the in the program in this moment, but it's good to know. Some details right the second conditional is past and would right when you have for example <laughs> the, if i were you i would uh study more If I had more time, I would, I would read more. Okay, so in this case, for example, if you see, I am using here, past tense, past tense and here I use would plus base form of the verb. Simple has and here would 
plus base form of the barrel. Okay. This is the lesson you part you will lead in practice. Yes, Martin. Nothing, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, so then you say I will read more and then I will do this for. So I had more time. If I had more time, I will read more. But what is there here is this is what they call contrary to the fact. Contrary to the fact. Okay, this is lo contrario a realidad. If I were you, I am not you. Okay, I would study more if I were you, but this decision is yours. If I had more time, I don't have time. If I had more time, I would read more. So I don't read more. Okay, for example, suppose I read, uh, let's say one book a month because I don't have time. If I had more time, I will read two or three books a month. So then this is contrary to the reality. Okay, so if they say, if I were you, it means I am not you. If I had more money, or if I had money, okay, you have to be careful. <laughs> if I had money, Or if I had more money, what's the difference? In these two sentences. If I had money or if I had more money. If I had money, I don't have money. Okay, that's the reality. If I had more money, it means I had money. But if I had more, okay, then you say, for example, this is the difference, right? In this case, if you use more or not, makes a big difference. Okay, if I, if I were rich, okay, if I were rich, if I were a rich man, but I am not rich. If I were richer, okay, I am rich, but if I were richer, if I had more money, so you see this is, but this is a different thing, right? Past and good, but stay form. And then you can say, I would. Okay, or my family my family would, my wife would, my son would, my daughter would, okay. Travel very often. Okay. So, but this one is just uh, extra information. You can use it, of course. Okay. But in this moment, according to the lesson, we only need future, right? The first conditional using will, may, and might. There's where we are going to fix the fact. 
the fact that let me see we have to okay here we have okay now look at this if you eat less junk food less junk food you may lose weight you may lose no uh, no because this is not lose teacher well, uh -huh. you might feel health healthier healthier yes okay it's the loose of the holgado flojo right and you have a loose shirt a loose pants okay that could be if you walk to work every day. I don't know if they did this intentionally. Uh huh. If you walk to work every day, you have more money to spend on, on yourself. Mm, could be. But something more related to this? Because here say if you exercise, maybe yeah, if you don't get married, you don't get married. Question number two. If you walk to work every day. Anyone can answer, okay? You will stay in shape mm -hmm. without joining a gym. Okay, that's more logical. Could be three. If you don't get enough sleep, find the relation. If you don't get enough sleep, You won't be able to stay awake in class. Awake in class. And if you exercise? You may lose weight. Okay. I, there is a mistake here. Lose. It's a lose tiene que ser solo con una hoja. One O only. Okay. And there is a mistake. It's the lose at the flojo. Eh, Holgado, right? When you're talking about clothes. Number five, if you don't get married, you will have more money to spend on yourself. Yes, right? Because... Obviously. <laughs> yes, it's, it's bad. Uh, yeah, it's obvious, I guess. Hey, what happened here? Yeah, you see, that's, um, you might feel healthier. So, uh, okay. You may lose weight. This is what Anna told me this. Pero creí que estaba malo por la palabra, right? But you were right. And then this one. These two are similar. Okay. Then this would be okay. Yes, that was the one. Okay, just the spelling. La, la ortografía en loose is, is incorrect. Okay, now, uh, tomorrow I will, I will uh, share with you some um, extra information about conditionals so that you can have uh, all the picture. Okay, obviously we're not going to practice practice them all here but we're going to be practicing with the, yes uh, i tried to answer the session five uh-huh and i have a problem in some questions okay then uh, mm -hmm. about the 
Gerund. About the Gerund. Okay, yeah. that is in what exercise in the section five? Uh, is the oh. Okay, send me send me okay. a send me a message in WhatsApp, and then I I can uh give you a hand. But uh, send me for example, look at this, uh, the five for example. Let me see, so that I know how to help you more effectively. Okay, suppose I have, okay, this one, this is section five. Suppose that you have problem with the, I don't know, here, there's an objective. So yeah, I say, here, I say now. Five, four, for example, right? Okay. And then uh, you tell me that, and then I will, I will check this, right? I, I say now. Okay, perfect. No problem. Chat. Okay, now let me check the attendance before we go. So we have Amanda Yamilet, who's not here today. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Here. Yes, here. We have Andrea Dayanara, yes. Angel Isaac. No. Uh, Byron, Giovanni. No. Then we have Cesar Ivan. Yes. Here. Benny Saronai, not today. Herbert, yes, Herbert is here. Juan Carlos Cubillas, yes. Catherine Johanna, no. Kenya, yes. Luis Miguel is here. Maria Belmi is here. Martin de Jesus yeah. is here. Mercy. Mercy is there, right? Uh, Nuria Saray. No, she's not there. Rebecca. Present teacher. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There, and it's Stephanie. Okay. Good. Then, uh, no se les olvide completar la uh, plataforma, okay? Amanda, Cesar Iván, Herbert, Juan Carlos, Catherine, Martin Jesus, Nuria, Stephanie, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know so I can give you a hand or help you to to complete it, right? But send me a specific the the a specifically the the exercise you need help with so that I can help you faster, right? Okay, so then please uh study for tomorrow and we're gonna have more practice with the conditionals. So have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your bed, right? Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Good night, everything. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.